Hi everyone, Nick Kretikos of Nick Seasonal Decor, and to be honest, I wasn't going to go live tonight. Uh, I actually just finished up a pre-recorded video just a few minutes or so ago, and um, you know, it is posted, so in case you guys want to check that out, I would appreciate it. But I was figuring that would be enough for today, and then I got bored. I was sitting on the couch, my dog wouldn't stop harassing me to scratch her, uh, and you know, this is like my quiet time. This is my peace. This is my serenity. This is what I enjoy doing. So I figured, you know what? Let's keep up the tradition of going live each and every night of the new year. So as you come in, if you're watching the replay, be sure to drop a comment down below letting me know that you're coming back and watching my video. Hey, Sam, nice to see you. And I thought we would do something kind of different tonight. This is something that we've done uh, three or four times now in the wreath community, but we're going to show you guys how to make a very simple um, grave spike. So if you have a loved one that is deceased, a friend, a family member, uh, virtually anywhere, you know, you can make one of these. So I know headstone saddles and grave saddles, which we designed the other day in the group, those are definitely for headstones. But something like this is quaint, it's small. You know, I know a lot of people deal with terrible situations where, um, you know, their floral displays get taken. Hi, Danae. And in their local communities, you know, people come and hijack them and take all of their flo fl flowers away or the maintenance crews throw them away. And you just might not want to have something super duper expensive. So something like this is a lot more economical. It's a lot more practical and you can get a lot more use out of it. So Alex just sent a text out. If you received your text, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. And if you would like to be texted, Denise says I'm frozen. Can you guys see me okay? Let me know. Can you see me? Hey, Rich. Hey, Kelly. Before I continue on, let me know. There we go. You guys can see me. But yeah, if you want alerts, just be sure to text me. We're going to start with my favorite flower of all time. It's so summery to me. And it also can be kind of springy, too, if you choose the right color. So this is a geranium spray. This particular one came from at home. However, really exciting news. We are getting geraniums in. So we'll have them in pink, we'll have them in red, we'll have them in white, we'll have them in coral, and I think we're getting them in orange as well. So we'll just break down this one spray. We're keeping it very practical tonight, just using the red geraniums along with some white filler flower and foliage. So something like this shouldn't cost any more than 10, 15 bucks. I'm good, thank you guys. What I have here is just a dollar store spike. They're the best place to get them. They're great quality for a buck. And if you get any other type, they look the exact same, but you're going to pay triple the, the cost. Sam got her text. So save yourselves a bit of money and just get them from the dollar store. We'll start with one focal geranium sticking straight up. And then we can start working in the rest. So we'll place one to the left of the tallest bloom. The tallest bloom is going to be the focus. We're not going to place anything higher than that. Hey, Andrea. So earlier when I got home, the first thing I did is I actually came down here. I found a few reeds that have to go out tomorrow. Uh, so some of your wreath orders are going out from down here. It was kind of like a puzzle trying to figure out what the heck I did with them. And then what I did is I organized four or five bins full of things that we're giving away. So many of you guys have heard about the mystery boxes. Hands up if you know what I'm talking about. But we still have some more to give away. So if you're interested in that, just drop a comment down below and text me and you could be our next winner. Some of you guys have shared really sentimental stories and they've just really touched my heart. Um, and I love learning more about you guys. So if you do text me, let me know a little bit about yourselves. We have been texting back lately. Okay, one geranium spray, <laughs> in all honesty, that looks enough for me, right? All good on video and sound. Thank you, Quincy, for letting me know. Doesn't that look really pretty? There's nothing quite like red geraniums. Uh, my friend Jordan from Designs by Jordan, he loves red geraniums as well. There's just something special about them. So what we're going to do next, we'll save this bush for after, but I just found this in a five-gallon bucket, and let's use some of it. It has some white and green berries. So this is going to be very summery. Perfect. Snip off some of these. This has clearly been used before or used before, and that's okay. We'll use up the rest of it. We don't need our laterals to be too long because don't forget this is going into the ground. Or what it can also do is slip right into, you know, an urn that you may have at the cemetery. 
almost 700 of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you for the shares. I see them coming through along with some hearts. You guys are awesome. How many of you just saw my most recent dollar store project? We premiered it half hour or so ago. Check that out. We actually used some greenery from the dollar store. You know, I've never been one to put the dollar store down. Um, I often tell you guys you can find better price things elsewhere and purchase something a little bit more expensive and get, you know, more bang for your buck when all is said and done. But this year, my local dollar store to the warehouse has some incredible, incredible uh, balloons this year and greenery. So I'd choose flowers over greenery from the dollar store, which I wouldn't say about anything else. Uh, but this year they had some uh, spider plant. Let me know if you know what a spider plant is. I feel like everybody's got them passed down from generation to generation, but we got some of those today and we worked them into a dollar store wreath and it turned out really cool. Okay, a couple more pieces of this greenery. This piece is too long, so we'll just snip that back. One handed. So what I used to use when designing these in the wreath community, not used to, I'm sure if we do another one, I'll still be using it. Uh, but I use a, um, a big kind of industrial paper towel roll. I just poke this into the top of the paper towel tube or the roll and design with it on that. And it works really well. Don't shoot it until you try it, you guys. Trust me. All right. Red geranium's in place. A little bit of greenery's in place. So Trina ha has a lot of them. How many of you guys have a loved one where you would love to put something so simple next to their headstone or, or their grave? You know, I, I, often I, I get comments saying, I'm nervous to place anything expensive. I'm afraid they're going to throw it away or somebody's going to steal it. You know, crazy story. About four or five years back, the group has actually been taken down since then because of controversy. Uh, but there's a local town group in a few towns over and some girl that I knew through the grapevine, through other friends, she actually posted in it saying that her dad's arrangement got stolen. So I actually made her a fresh design um, for her dad and one just for her a few years back. But it was just crazy because it seemed like that cemetery, a lot of things were either thrown away or stolen. So something like this, God forbid somebody steals it. You know, they may need it more than you do. Uh, but if they steal it, this, you know, you might have $10, $15 max invested in it. So it's kind of like at that point, you're not too bummed out about it. And it's just cheaper than a grave saddle. Just going to fill in with more of this. Spider plant. Yes, yeah, so you've heard of a spider plant. Yeah, go check out that dollar store spider plant. It was actually really great quality. Let's break down a few more pieces of this. So who's been with us every night this year? You know, tonight's project's very simple and very straight to the point and quick. But I have some really cool projects planned for you all that you'll just have to tune in for. But I'll continue with my tradition of one video a day, one new exciting video each day. Whether it be live or pre-recorded, I can't promise a live every night. But we will shoot for that and we'll try our hardest to do it. And we've been good so far. I mean, what's today? The 14th? 13th? Is it the 12th? What's, what is today? Why can't I? I don't even know the date. But... You know, stay tuned on NickSeasonalDecor.com too because we actually have our biggest spring order coming in the next week or so. A lot of the things you guys like that were out of stock, we're getting back in. Look at how pretty that is. Can you see that okay? Awesome, Donna. I think that turned out really pretty. Let's just work in a couple more pieces. Ah, oh, it feels weird being down here. This is my first time since opening the warehouse that I've been down here alone, I think. I think I've had somebody record for me every day. Every time we're down here, not every day. 
Uh, maybe there's one exception. I think we did one date night down here. Okay, so we have two of those longer pieces shooting out the top. And I'll place one more to kind of create that triangular effect. See that? Let me see. Yes, exactly. So the flowers aren't from Dollar Tree, but you could easily make this Dollar Tree, you know, complete, you know, using nothing but dollar store products. Something like this doesn't have to be crazy expensive. I know Walmart sells them for like five bucks complete. Of course, if I was to sell it, I wouldn't be able to charge $5 for it. You guys know that. Uh, and same with you. Don't you be charging no $5 for these. But, you know, $25, $30, $35 is not a bad price. You can make it for less if you wanted to. But it just gives somebody, you know, something pretty to put on a loved one's gravesite without breaking the bank and also without worrying about somebody stealing it. Because I feel like that's just awful. Like I said, I wouldn't be too bummed, ab uh, bummed out about it. It's only 10 or so dollars to make. But those larger grave saddles, like the one we made the other day, which is a little bit pricier, you're not going to want somebody to steal that. So something like this, you have peace of mind knowing that if somebody steals it, it's not a huge, huge, valuable piece. Okay. Let's just work in the rest of this bush. Might as well. So today's the 13th. Thank you for that. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. That used to be a, a kid's show. After my time, it was Bella's time. My younger sister used to watch that. Me growing up, I watched things like Caillou, Scooby Doo. I loved Scooby Doo. Uh, Dragon Tales. And then I also watched old shows that weren't kid friendly. Um, you know, All in the Family. That's not a kid's show or a cartoon, but stuff like that. I used to love the Munsters growing up. I still do. How many of you guys have seen the Munsters before? But I love the Munsters. Good times. And you know what's crazy is this week I just found a show. It's called Mod. Have you guys ever heard of that show? I never heard of it before. And dad's like, oh, I used to love that show. Like, I'm surprised I never told you about it. Or we've never seen it. And it actually is like the original show for all of the rest of the shows, like Good Times and all of that. And I just found out about it the, like last week. I don't know how we started on cartoons and ended <laughs> in that, but it works for me. All right. So we could actually work in a few more red geraniums if we wanted to. But I'm just taking whatever's left and working it in. And that's our final piece. What do you think? Mod is hilarious, right? I never knew. I never heard of it before, ever. Um, it's starring B. Arthur. And I, I somehow came across it and I couldn't stop laughing. It was really funny. But there is a very simple grave uh, spike. What do you guys think? Show some hearts if you love this. Laura used to watch Mod. Yeah, Dad was like, oh, I'm surprised since, you know, we always watch the other ones. And I didn't know they were all connected. So then this has a spike on the bottom of it. It's not sharp. Um, think of it like an anchor for like tents or whatever. It's very, you know, um, of course, if you stabbed yourself with it or somebody, uh, it wouldn't feel too good. But it's, you know, just pointy enough to go into the soil Next to a plaque, you know, on either side of a grave, a headstone. I think that would look very, very pretty. I know I'm too young to remember those shows, but those are the shows I actually grew up on. Um, funny enough, not Steven, not Alex, not Bella. They didn't care about those shows, but like Sanford and Son, we said Good Times. All of those shows were the shows that I grew up watching, along with those few cartoons that I mentioned. Uh, but I'm an old soul. You guys know that at this point. You know, five or six-year-old Nick was not five or six, you know, years old. I don't know. You get what I'm saying. So there is a very simple little grave spike. And I chose the red geraniums because with those white people steal from our graveyards here all the time, beautiful Nick. Yes. So something like this, you know, you don't have to worry about what is a grave saddle. So it sits on top of a headstone. You know, it really depends on the designer that you're asking. They might call it, you know, all sorts of things. 
Uh, but a grave saddle, it just sits on top of the headstone. It has metal supports on either side, kind of like a mailbox mount, and it'll just rest on the top, you know, beautifully, gracefully. Uh, there's also things like gravestone blankets that some designers use. Uh, you know, there's just so many different ways to decorate grave sites. You know, if you love somebody and you want to show your love, something like this would last all spring, all summer, and all fall. Uh, you can keep it and then put it out again next year. But you could also work in blue flowers and make it patriotic and all of that good stuff. But I chose the red geraniums because with that white container, uh, the dollar store has the white and they have the green. And I think it just works so well. Thank you, Claudette. Claudette, I'm so happy that you loved your mystery boxes. Uh, me and my whole family watched those videos you posted. So I'm glad you enjoyed them. I can't wait to see what you make with it. So again, if you're interested in mystery box, we still have them to give away, as you can imagine. I mean, those are all my candles, but we have stuff everywhere. These grapevines got to go into mystery boxes too. Uh, these are kind of the wonky ones that I've collected from Michaels over the years. Some are even spray painted. I don't know if that's something you guys would want. Uh, let me know. Would you guys want free painted grapevines or just colors that dad chose and I'm not in love with the colors, so I'll probably never use them. And I got a declutter. So hands up if you don't care about spray painted grapevines in your mystery boxes. But make sure you text me. Also to you guys, if you have an Android, our app is available in the, I think a Google Play Store is what it's called. Uh, if you're an Apple user, it's still not in the Apple Store, but it will be in the next few days or so. So just give that a little bit of time. Uh, happy shopping. We still have tons of spring stuff left. Lots have gone out of stock, but we are restocking. And bargain boxes, for those of you that purchase those, are going out uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. So stay tuned for those. So thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the shares. And thank you for spending your evening with me. Short and sweet, uh, but something very pretty to show a loved one how much you really love them. So you can also add banners to these. You could add pics. I love just simple floral ones because this just takes a dollar store base and makes it look so classy. Kathleen will take anything. All right, Kathleen, sounds good. We actually have a box. Let me see. Well, disregard all of this. That's a video that never premiered. That's a video that never premiered. Didn't love them. So those will probably uh, just give away. Uh, we have a whole box of Easter. See those Easter picks there, you guys? Easter picks, those are going, even though Easter's coming up, because uh, we have just tons of Easter stuff coming in that we have available per for purchase that those have got to find a home. We have those specialty ornaments that I got from Michael's, no, from Michael's or Walmart. I think Walmart. Those I bought in bulk. I don't want them anymore. You guys can have those. We have faux fruit because I have faux fruit coming in. Uh, look at that giant flower. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That I got like 90% off. Uh, those are some spray painted grapevines. Disregard the mess. You guys are used to at this point. Uh, those are some grapevines that we're giving away. We're going through all of these designs and keeping the ones that are worthy of selling. So bargain boxes are on the website. Uh, they are sold out, but they're $50 including shipping. And hopefully we'll have some more available in the next month. Uh, it has about a 60 to $65 retail value. And the difference between bargain boxes and downloaded the app. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think with the app. Uh, but bargain boxes are all the supplies we have in, uh, for sale at the warehouse. It's current season products. Whereas mystery boxes is all of this goodness down here. Uh, but some of those reads, you guys, are just quick reads that we threw together, not really uh, methodically and mechanically placed. It's just kind of for education purposes only. Uh, so they're not reads that we actually have for sale, some of which are like this pink one. And we'll bring those to the warehouse and hang on the wall. So again, those are some grapevines that are painted. We have a few more down below as well. Uh, this container is going to find a home too. Reindeer uh, sleigh rides. Don't want that anymore. And yeah. All of that stuff. So thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Let me know your thoughts on this grave spike. I think it turned out really pretty. So very economical, very easy, and you guys can do it. Your old is our new. That's the, that's the best way to look at it. So I'll see you all tomorrow night. Make sure to get your texts in. Happy shopping. The wreath community is closed, but we're opening up the end of March, early April. Uh, so you can learn more about that at wreathcommunity.com. So be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Bye, everyone.